I wrote this song with a guy called John Snodgrass from the band Drag the River. We wrote a whole album. We wrote a whole album in four hours. And then we recorded it in four hours. In which time we finished off a handle of Jameson. So, it, kind of the songs at the beginning of the record are kind of coherent, and then it finishes with me kind of freestyle rapping. So, you know, it's sort of a, it's a varied experience. But uh, there was a new story. There was a new story on the day that we were making this record about a flight attendant who jumped off the plane as it landed because he was so sick of his fucking customers and bailed. Do you remember that story? The guy was called Steve. And, uh, and we read the story and we wrote this song about what a legend that he was. I should, there's a, there's a, there's a follow-up part to the story and I'm going to tell you now because it makes it better. We found out the next day and I wish we'd rewritten the song. That, so he pulled the, the emergency lever, got off the plane, he grabbed a beer and got off the plane and went home. That's all we knew, but we found out the next day that the cops were like hot on his heels. Uh, but by the time they got home to his house to arrest him, he was already in bed with his boyfriend. How cool is that? He got home after just quitting, walks in with a beer and goes, Daddy's fucking home, I need to get laid. And his boyfriend, to his credit, was like, fuck yeah, dude. Let's, let's get down to brass tacks, man. Fuck it. Anyway. This song's called, that's, that's the fourth verse that we never wrote. Uh, this song's called The Ballad of Steve. I should add that this song has a million words in it. And I practiced this in soundcheck earlier, but I might still fuck it up. Let me tell a little story about a flight attendant who now stands in court as a lone defendant. After 21 years and a job that tough, he decided one day that he had enough. Steve had to go. Steve was a bro. As the plane touched down in Philadelphia, one old lady didn't do what Steve had told her. She got up to get a bag while the plane was still moving, and Steve marched down the aisle all disapproving. Steve was right, but he knew he was right. Steve always did the best he could. He knew that when he finally left, he had to make it good. Steve had an awesome night of pride. Steve is the fucking man. Steve had to leave, Steve had to leave. The old lady didn't do what Steve had said. Yes, yeah, she cut with her bag and hit her in the head. So he went up to the passengers and got up on the mic. Spoke to all the passengers and called her on a shot. Steve was the truth with a cast word or two. Steve pulled up the lever and down fell the chute. And then he went to the drinks challenge and he grabbed a beer or two. But just before he jumped into the column, just before he jumped off the plane, he turned and yelled, I'm out of here, fuckers, I'll see you all in hell. Steve had to leave, Steve had to leave. Steve always did the best that he could. And he knew that when he finally left, he had to make it good. So Steve had an awesome night to plan. Steve is the fucking man. Steve is the fucking man. Steve is the fucking man. It's fucking true.